Oh dear, here it is again. Uh, Brexit. Why this week, Lee, Brian Kavanagh, the Horse Racing Ireland Supremo, yeah. is starting to make extremely worried noises, more so than we've seen so far as the March the 29th approaches. Yeah, and understandably so. Whatever may not bring. Yeah, I mean, give, given the, um, the Commons vote this week, it seems like, you know, a fortnight's passed since, since the, um, the big vote, but it's still relatively recent. Um, and it, it did make it seem ever more likely that a no-deal Brexit might happen and if a no deal Brexit does happen then we are in completely uncharted territory and we're in a, um, a situation whereby everything has to start again it, across every area of society there are if you like no no set rules for how this country interacts with the rest of Europe and that includes with the movement of horses and Brian's concern is that this industry relies on the free movement of horses between the United Kingdom, between Britain mm. and, and uh, Ireland and Europe. Um, and if uh, we're in a situation whereby um, horses are having to be uh, held up for ages to be checked, because, if, for example, in Ireland, they just at the minute aren't enough border inspection points to check these horses coming in. Um, and it is a, a major concern. It will have an impact on the bloodstock industry significantly, I would think, as well, Amy, with the transport of thousands of foals and yearlings between the two countries. Definitely, and as well, you know, the racing side, you know, how many trainers have gone to France this year, um, you know, and, and is the paperwork, you know, paperwork going to be through in time after you've declared, you know, you can't have horses sitting around at ports and, and, and whatever, wait, you know, while, while, while we're clearing. So it's just, it's, it is a real worry for both the bloodstock side and the racing side. And the hot, hard border in, in Ireland, mm. I mean, that is a disaster for Dan mm. Royal. Oh, essentially, isn't yeah. it, which is already besieged. Absolutely, and, and we, 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 you know, we don't know what what our government will do. We, we don't know what the EU will set in place in terms of how long it will take for horses to get across. What 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 requirements they'll they'll, they'll place. It, it, we, we are just in a complete void. We don't know what's going to happen. It's very difficult to see. Whatever side of this debate you're on, it's very <laughs> difficult to see many upsides to to the horse racing industry uh, of Brexit.